Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about the Goldfit Quant uh, test using our software. This test is mostly used for checking of heteroscelasticity. And the name of two, two scientists, the first uh, the Goldfit is one scientist and the Quant also is the other scientist. So this test is help us to check heteroscelasticity. I think you are familiar with the concept of heteroscelasticity. Heteroscelasticity is uh, it's referred to the situation where the variance of the residual is unequal over the range of uh, measured values. And uh, when running a regression analysis, this admits the heteroscelasticity uh, result is in unequal scatter of uh, residual or the uh, error term. There are a number of causes uh, for heteroscelasticity, like uh, cross sectional uh, studies, like uh, time series uh, models. For example, in the cross sectional studies, Studies often have very small and large value, and thus are more likely to have heteroscelasticity in our uh, model. For example, uh, cross sectional studies of income can have a range that extends from uh, poverty to uh, billionaires. And the other uh, source of heteroscelasticity or the cause of heteroscelasticity is the uh, time series models. So, a time series model can have heteroscelasticity uh, if the dependent or the response variable uh, change significantly from the beginning to the end of the uh, time series. So uh, the Goldfield uh, as well as the quant test is help us to uh, check whether the heteroscelasticity is present or absent in our model, especially in the regression uh, model. And this, te this test works by uh, removing of some number of observations that are located in the, in the center of our uh, mm -hmm. data set. Then uh, testing to see if the spread of the residual is different from the resulting of two uh, data sets that are uh, on either side of the uh, central observation. And uh, typically, uh, we have to choose or we have to remove around 20% of our uh, total observation. For example, let's say we have 400 observations, so we just we, we will remove the observation uh, at about 20%, so it will be around, what, 80. So 80 observation uh, will be chosen and it, it will be removed from our uh, the central observation. So uh, this is some... Um, uh, concept about the gold feed as well as the gold feed quant test using our software. So the first step is uh, setting or building our uh, regression model. Before going to that, we have to import our data. So my data, our, our data is found on the desktop, which is uh, uh, located in the desktop. Let's, yeah. Mm, yeah, this one. Then let's import it. So this is my uh, data frame or our data uh, frames look like this. Then let's set regression model, multiple regression model. And here is the GY is the response variable. Then the remaining are HI, NPKS, NKPS, BM, BMY, and the remaining are our predictors. And I have to indicate, don't forget to indicate your data name. So in our case, our data name is uh, this one, AG and W. So type this and submit to our studio. Then if you want to check the summary, um, all the predictors are significantly affected the, the response variable or the uh, grain uh, yield. So the second step is just uh, to perform the Goldfield uh, quant test in order, in order to check whether the heteroscelasticity is absent or present. Before going uh, to uh, performing the Goldfield quant test, we have to set our hypothesis into way. As all of you know that there are two hypotheses. The first one is the null hypothesis, and the second one is alternative hypothesis. Coming to the null hypothesis, uh, you can say it in this way. So there is no heteroscedasticity, or heteroscedasticity is not present in our regression model. So the alternative will be, yes, heteroscedasticity is what? Present 
in our model. So if the test is greater than 0 0.05, we may fail to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, so there is no heteroscedasticity. But if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, yes, there is a presence of heteroscedasticity. So we will reject uh, or we will have sufficient evidence to reject uh, the null hypothesis. So let's perform the uh, Godfield quant test. In order to do that, we have to load the LM test uh, uh, package. So uh, first you have to load this package if you haven't, but if already you have, just you have to call uh, the LM test uh, package by using the library function. So the uh, model or the function for uh, testing heteroscedasticity using the Goldfield quant test is the first you have to use the digit test function, then the parenthesis followed by the model. So in the case of model means the regression model that you create. So the linear regression or the maybe it's simple or maybe it's multiple regression uh, that created by the what LM function. So in our case, our model will be what work. Then order by means it is the predictor variables in the module. So uh, it's obvious the predictors are H, uh, HI, NKPS, and BMW. And data means it is obvious our uh, data or the name of the data set. So our data name is uh, AGNW. And uh, uh, fraction means it is the number of central observation uh, to remove uh, from uh, the data set. So that's we said already uh, before uh, in the discussion part, it's 20% of what your total observation. For example, um, let's see this uh, dimension. Let's see our dimension of data. So our data name is uh, AGNW. Yeah. So let's see our observation. So 196 observation are there. So 196 times 0 0.2. So around. 39 uh, uh, observation will be uh, removed from what? From our uh, data set of, or 39 central observation uh, will be removed from our data set. So the fraction means it is, it is means it is 20% of our total observation. In our case, total observation is 196. So 196 times 20% is around 39. So we will remove 39 observation from our uh, uh, data uh, set. So by this way, you can check your even your observation. Then uh, let's uh, feed our uh, values. Uh, so you have to use the uh, GQ uh, test. Then our model is uh, what? That means using the linear regression. It's a multiple regression. Yeah, it's obvious. Then order by means. It is the predictor that we have is here is HI, NKPS, and BMW. And our data name is obvious. It's N. Uh, a, G, and W, and the fraction that means to be removed, or the central observation to be removed is 39, which was 20% of our total observation. So type this and submit to our studio. So it's not available. Why? Because we are not loading this package. Then let's run this one. Yes, as you can see here, the Goldfield uh, uh, quant test, the p-value is around 0 0.8478, which means it is greater than 0 0.05. So we have no su uh, sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. That means there is no heteroscedasticity present in our uh, data. So by this way, we can perform the uh, Goldfield quant test. Uh, if if we fail or if we um, reject uh, the null hypothesis, there are three ways. Means there is heteroscedasticity is present in our data. So what what we have to do is three things. The first one is uh, just to redefine your response variable, and the second one is uh, just to transform uh, your response variable. So you have to check how to transform uh, uh, your response variable. One of my tutorial regarding to transformation, and certainly you have to use uh, a weighted uh, regression analysis. So it is all about the Goldfield quant test uh, using our software. So as usual, don't forget to provide your valuable comment and su suggestion uh, to my channel uh, using. YouTube comment box or alternatively using my email address. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.